Welcome to the Affiliate Guy Daily, your daily source for affiliate marketing news, tips, and strategies to take your online business to the next level. Let's dive right in. Hey, hey, what's up? It's the Affiliate Guy, Matt McWims here, and today I'm going to talk to you about when you should start promoting affiliate offers. You know, conventional wisdom says that the right time to start promoting affiliate offers is after a certain point. And, and that point, it's always different. Everybody that I talk to, it's different. You know, some are like, well, you should blog for a year. You should do your podcast for a year. You need a thousand subscribers. You need a thousand downloads per episode after a certain number of this or that. And it's all over the place. But I'm here to tell you that conventional wisdom in any form, any limit that it puts on when you should start is wrong. You know, imagine you had a brick and mortar store. You know, think about Walmart. Would Walmart, when they open up across town, do they wait to start selling stuff? You know, imagine if you opened up a brick and mortar store, would you wait a year to start selling something? I mean, think about, it. would you even wait a week? So here's how that works. You open up a furniture store across town and <laughs> like day one, people come in and all they get is like lectures on how to buy furniture, how to sit. It's free content. That, that would be absolutely ridiculous. W you know, you wouldn't wait until the thousandth person walked in before you sold something like ding, 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 number thousand, you know, 1000, I can start selling. You wouldn't wait till your store was more famous. That, that's absurd. You start selling something, anything right away. In most of those products, in most cases, when you open up a store, those products aren't made by you. Yeah, Walmart has their own brand now, but if you go back 20 years to a place like Walmart, most of their stuff wasn't Walmart brand. It was, you know, and even today, most of the stuff they sell, most of the chips they sell are probably from Frito-Lay and, uh, well, it's the only chip company I can name, Utz. That's another one. You know, think about most of the, you know, the DVDs, they're not Walmart brand. Most of the, the fabric softener is probably Downy and, and whatever one of the other ones is can tell I don't go shopping very often. <laughs> My wife Tara does that because I, I don't know any products, but you know, think about that. Most of those products are not going to be made by you if you open up a brick and mortar. So you'd sell other people's stuff and get to keep a percentage of the revenue. That sounds an awful lot like affiliate marketing, doesn't it? Or consider this, you know, if Sam Walton had waited and waited until he had a better reputation and more followers, more potential customers to sell his first product, Walmart wouldn't be around today. And I want you to think like Sam Walton. I want you to think like a retail brick and mortar type place. You know, four years ago, I've talked about this a lot, but four years ago, I promoted my first affiliate product, Michael Hyatt's Five Days to Your Best Year Ever. This was long before he was a client. I had about 600 email subscribers. I'd been blogging for about two, you know, a few months. And conventional wisdom says that it wasn't the right time to promote an affiliate offer. In fact, actually, now that I think about it, the first time when I could have promoted that, I didn't when I'd only been doing it for two months. Fast forward when I'd been doing it, actually almost two years, it still wasn't the right time because I only had like 600 people on my list. But I did anyway. And I remember I set a goal of two sales. I set this goal. I was like, if I can do two sales, it's proof of concept. So I signed up. I promoted as best as I could. I waited for the results. You know, Michael didn't have the fancy affiliate system like, like he does now, you know, that we do for our clients. It was just like you kind of promoted and then found out later how you did. Weeks later, I got a PayPal deposit for 588 bucks. $588. That was huge for me at that time. Now, earlier in the week, I received a, a check from a client for more than $20,000. But you would have thought my reaction to that $588, bucks, you thought I won the lottery. I was that excited. And then fast forward the next two promotions, and I made more than $37,000 in commissions from Michael. And from commissions and prizes from Michael's launches. Now, again, that's before he was a client. But that's the power of starting small. See, many people, they think... That, that being new, being small, being unknown is a disadvantage when promoting affiliate offers. But stay tuned for the next episode. I'm going to share the advantages of being small and why that means you should start now. Now, in the meantime, 
make sure you go sign up for our free mini course on finding affiliate programs. You're going to need this as you go on this journey. That's your call to action day today. Go get the mini course on finding affiliate programs. We have eight in-depth video lessons to get you started. I'm going to show you how to find programs, how to guarantee acceptance, and so much more. So here's where to go. Go to mattmcwilliams.com forward slash find. F-I-N-D, mattmcwilliams.com forward slash find to get immediate access. All right, time to sign off. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks so much for listening. Be sure to join us daily for more tips, updates, and inspiration. You can also join us and watch our deep dives into affiliate marketing strategies at theaffiliateguide.tv. And check all of our free resources at mattmcwilliams.com. See you next episode.